Happy Halloween, everybody. Welcome back to uh, another segment in what I am officially going to dub a uh, annual tradition on FTCO, a public domain Halloween. <laughs> uh, we're back. I am FTA. Uh, I'm T Bay. And we're back. For... Uh, I forgot what my name was for a second. <laughs> I, I just think you always, you always extend the and I. Uh, so do every is... time do you forget what your name is? Yes. <laughs> Uh, we're here for the uh, seminal horror classic, Night of the Living Dead. I was going to try and extend it to it came up on screen, but you have to wait. Up. But that's a oh, pretty long intro. Pretty long intro to get to get that. Um, George Romero's uh, zombie classic. It is not the origin of the zombie mythos, but this is about question the movie that kind of catapulted uh, zombie. Into it, it is the film that kickstarted the general idea of zombies like 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 what what most people come to know as zombies this was again this was the notion that introduced the idea of zombies without voodoo because if you want to get on a very nitpicky nerd technical level you can really only use the phrase zombie if magic slash voodoo is involved with the raising of the dead hmm. this was the first one First movie to be like, there's not really, you know, it's just there's rising from the grave to uh, run amok. Um, I will say, what I, just based on on this intro, I think one of I think this is one of the greatest examples of sound being able to set mood because there's it's, you know it's just a, a car driving, but the music is is haunting. Yeah, the music just sets you in a mood of like shit's gonna go down, slash south, slash bad. Get used to it. Yeah, I would say. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, in terms of, of of the music, I'm for the life of me trying to remember slash find it on my phone. So we got, um, I guess William Loose was created the uh, original music, and then there's some stuff recording uh, credited to a Fred Steiner. I would say kind of in the um, vein of Alfred Hitchcock's cycle with music by yeah, Bernard Herrmann, I believe, and then uh, I think a more, well, slightly modern example would be John Carpenter's Halloween. The music doesn't let up. The music is just terrifying from frame one to the end. Um, like like certain horror films will you know have some music that's not not so you know I, I uh, example of that would be the recently released it movie, the remake of it. Uh -huh. you know, I, the remake of what? Johnny, it takes your five minutes. <sighs> it has, it has, um, like, like this spooky, scary music. Like Pennywise has a dark theme, yeah. but there's also non-scary music, which like this psycho Halloween don't do. And we're introduced to. Yeah, you know, I also another thing I, when I was being watching this the other day. Like I think the uh, at least in this opening scene, I think this dialogue's not bad. That yeah, looks pretty, pretty good. good. I mean, it's it's pretty casual. Um, you know, just when they're in the car, because, you know, they're just talking about, like, what they're doing. It, it, essentially, you know, they're giving you a lot of, um, giving you context, wrong with the radio. uh, just an exposition thing. without kind of, like, beating is? your head, beating you in over the head with it. Hmm. Um, because it comes off as pretty natural, in my opinion. It does, and also one thing that I think a lot of modern horror movies get a lot of, of flack rushing into like here's the crazy monster and shit's going down and I think there was a period of in like the 70s and 80s where there would be kind of a there was a general no rule of thumb like wait half an hour to um, show your monster really like, like oh, oh look, it wasn't like this is, well, you know not every movie did it but like you know generally you, you would want to set up your characters set up the world before you introduce like say uh, like Halloween or say The Exorcist there was you know you introduce the characters before the threat of the, the monster comes in. Not so with not not the living dead. Like we're gonna see the first zombie in like a minute. Yeah. Um, and then I wonder what happened shit just keeps 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 getting worse. Keeps getting worse and worse. We should go here sometime. Yeah, it's in. I think it's in. It's outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh. Next time we go to, we'll make a, a pit stop. To, uh, too many games next year. Let's go by the not the living dead cemetery. No, or we when we go to uh, Station Square. Yeah. But well, we have no idea when that's going to happen again. We gotta wait. We gotta wait till all the construction goes down. We just dated this commentary thoroughly. Who cares? Um, you did, not we. You mentioned Station Square. Damn it! Do 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 do. 
So yeah, I did, forgot to rewatch this. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was your idea. <laughs> was it? Yes. Oh, yeah. I right. said, what movie do you want to think about And you said, I, I love that. What they, they set up um, Thunder and Lightning. There is a first zombie. And we're, we're less than six no, minutes into the no, movie. No, that's just a guy. And look, he's going to kill him. He's put on his, his murder gloves. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> They'll never be able to tell. <laughs> Uh, I mean, like, that's why I love about Sean of the Dead. When they first hit over there, they think he's just a, he's just a drunk. He's yeah. just a drunk. That guy's pissed. Double the double the bur. I almost said a Halloween too. We should do that instead of Halloween too. Sean of the Dead. <laughs> well, you do realize this will be coming out after that Halloween two has already come out. So we should we should have done we should have done Sean of the Dead instead of Halloween two. <laughs> Edit that out. <laughs> Mr. Simpson, we're live coast to coast. Don't. <laughs> and this this is coming up on one of, I think, you know, one of the most most coming famous lines in horror history. Uh, They're coming to get you, Barbara. Barbara. They're, They're coming ignorant. to get They're you. Stop. Barbara. You're ignorant. <laughs> You're ignorant. <laughs> Which, again, was, was referenced in um, Shun of the Dead, and apparently when Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright showcased um, Shun of the Dead... For George A. Romero, he didn't catch the uh, the reference. What? Well, Sean's mother is Barbara. There's a moment where uh, <laughs> please enjoy that noise. There was a moment in um, Sean and the Dead where they're on the phone to um, Sean's mother and they're called Barbara and they're gonna go and pick him up. And Ed just screams on the phone, "We're coming to get you, Barbara!" And it cuts to the house. Oh, okay. I, See, I didn't get it either. So yeah, I, I like you know what I like about this. It's, it's a very it's, subtle reference. It's a, it's this is kind of like a realistic fight you would have. You know, it's not just all arms playing around and punches <laughs> and shit. You know, I will say, the the zombies, and that that's kind of that's kind of a weak death. I love, yeah. I love the the lightning, but you can clearly tell it's sunny outside. It's like an, you know, oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think, I think kind of like. Clerks would, have, would come to be. I think this was, uh, you know what? I, I was gonna say I, I it was shot in black and white um, for money measures, but I think it might be a mixture of money measures slash stylistic choice. Oh yeah, shoot it in. I think I think it definitely like. I don't know. Is it, it is it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be set in modern times? But um, yeah, I would I, I would say so because like they don't. They don't like. Uh, oh say my god, otherwise. that's terrifying. Although, the thing is, though, this, like, again, um, this zombie, these zombies don't act like Monday zombies. Like, yeah. say, say, if it were what, say, like, Walking Dead, the zombies aren't as smart as this. Well, yeah. like, he's actively trying to open doors uh-huh. and stuff, and then he has the forefront to, like, I'm going to pick up a rock and smash in this window. Oh, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely not. Um, holy crap, I forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, this is probably what I, because this is shown to be a smarter work. Like, is very expressive for an undead creature, you know. Yeah, but the but walk, like the, the kind of gimpy walk with the arms just swinging, I like guess. Yeah, it's, but it's I mean, you're right. Stuff. I, I don't stuff. think I don't think you could categorize it as hammy, considering that that type of role is unprecedented at this point. True. Sure. I, I guess it, I think I think to be hammy, you have to like either like know what you're doing and then like go above and beyond it. So, like the fact that this is the first time that someone's acting out this type of zombie. I, I, true. Although I I think I I wouldn't be again. That I may be completely wrong. But just based on how he's he's acting, I wouldn't be surprised if a slight frame of reference was were the old uh, Frankenstein movies. Oh, yeah, yeah, Especially, Especially, like, when the arm, like, uh, like, comes across the chest like that. Yeah. It's very, uh... Because that gives you, if only a technical, Frankenstein would probably be the first zombie of fiction. Yeah. And then there's something before that. Um, I, I know one of the earliest modern examples was there was a, there was a, a Smurfs comic The Gargamel, like, poisons one of the Smurfs and it, the infection is spread by being bit and then like, they're like dying and they all turn purple and act, act like zombies. What? Yeah. Smurfs is fucked up, son. <laughs> like, this is ter- I, uh, this, <laughs> I love how they keep having these shots where, where she runs into a corner mm. and then she's like looking around the corner. That shot just then when she's looking and the zombie is slowly coming across the uh, floor. I mean, 
again, uh, that to me, like uh, as a modern, slightly more modern cinema goer, like that is very indicative of Michael Myers. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if John Carpenter took some slight inspiration in terms of like visuals because like, that's it's a very striking image. Oh yeah, of just this unkillable killing machine coming very slowly towards you, and you can't do jack shit about it. It's just, uh, I mean, number one, they're out in the middle of nowhere. She's in this house that, uh, that's, you know, nobody's around. It appears that nobody's there. Um, you know, she doesn't know how hard this person, this person after her. I mean, obviously she doesn't know that this is like a supernatural thing. No. But, uh, you know, she doesn't, she doesn't know how hard this person that's coming after her is going to try to get in this house. This is terrifying. Yeah, we know. Well, she just... The zombie just killed her brother. Yeah. Um, which I thought, again, kind of kind of a wimpy death. It's kind of slightly hits his head on, like, a tombstone. Yeah, but it was a it was a yeah, corner of a, of a... Probably pierced brain. I Maybe, but I would just say, like, because, again, that this would be a limitation of the time. I think if I can watch it, he very slowly hits it. What I think is funny is that, like, um, it just it just wanted to kill him. So like as soon as it killed him, he didn't. It didn't. It, 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 it they, don't eat him. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't, it didn't feast on him or anything. That that what we just saw might be one of the earliest kind of jump scares. Just like for some reason, it's like mounted like deer heads. Yeah. With like loud music cues. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Stuff. It's my one weakness: clotheslines. <laughs> I hate this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you on the phone with? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go shoot some guys. I gotta go eat some brains. <laughs> My name is Bob. Bob. My name is Barbara. <laughs> and no, I'm gonna... her name is Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this moment is, is, I think, the first truly shocking moment of the movie when she goes upstairs and just sees that, like, dismembered face. It's a, that, yeah, it's the same guy. He looks a little different. Yeah, well, I think the, uh, the, the... Oh, there's more. Those guys just kind of look, look like like vampires. They're all, they're all dressed in like evening wear, you know? Yeah, they very, are. They're very <laughs> slowly walking towards... <laughs> there was... Oh, well, I guess it is... Well, I guess it is the, the uh, reanimated dead. So I guess they would be dressed up like... Yeah, so. They were, uh... You know, they were in, in their Sunday best. Yeah. This moment, this shot here. I never is. thought of that before. <laughs> oh oh my god. So something I read up on this, um, this movie was released. Was that also shot in Steven Spielberg's pool? <laughs> 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 this movie was released before there was an a, a MPAA. No rating mm -hmm. for these movies. Didn't this movie, uh, didn't it set in motion uh, the... Uh, need for one i think so because i was reading up on this and like you know families would go with their kids uh and they're just supports of like like six and seven year olds just like not being able to handle this movie oh yeah, yeah. which you know i would say I, I aside from some of the more gory aspects which we get later on maybe in the first half you can probably show one kid to this because they've seen oh yeah, yeah. Like, way more messed up stuff than this but and uh, I think here we are introduced to uh, kind of the main uh, character, Ben, played by uh, Dwayne Jones. I believe um, Romero has said that he wasn't trying to make some kind of typical statement by, you know, casting an African-American as lead, but he was simply the best actor who came to audition. Um, although, of course, when you get to things like uh, the ending, and obviously the fact that it is a African-American actor in the role kind of uh, as a new dimension to the uh, the kind of uh, twist ending yeah uh, and we're gonna assume everyone's seen this because you shouldn't be watching this shit if you haven't seen it before so spoiler alert after saving the day Ben gets his fucking brains blown out and then just thrown onto the uh, pile of dead zombies to burn it's a very very uh, fucked up twist ending I never saw the end of this. <laughs> Again, that would that wouldn't shock me if it was true. <laughs> we have to get rid of this. We have to get rid of this. Yeah. 
I never finished it. <laughs> it was too hard. <laughs> I couldn't beat the bio lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Every movie needs a bio lizard. It's come out of nowhere. <laughs> and also, we should also talk about... um, I can't remember if it was... Again, like the, this this level of, of blood... Again, it's black and white. Yeah, blood! <laughs> it's black and white, but I think even in... Because this was released, I want to say... 60s 68 68 yeah um you know this was in kind of like a, a mainstream movie which this kind of was because this was very very financially successful at all oh, this time of release it's uh, kind of shocking to have this much gore mm-hmm. um i forgot what i was going to say oh, the bio is in my coming what i'm going to say <laughs> you know what's great about about Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> the zombies. Two of them. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> there was three before. What happened to the third guy? Uh, two of them. There were two free zombies. <laughs> <laughs> but there was three of them. <laughs> there were two free zombies. That's better. I can take care of two of them. I don't mind making this voice because Ben from Town not like this, you know, but we got the... Uh, I got the volume off on the TV, so I can't remember exactly how he sounds. You know what I'm saying? I think this is very, uh, this this was probably very millennial of me, but uh, I think there's something like absolutely terrifying about um, something like this happening, and the only source of information they have is the radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you no, know, in, in in this day and age, like they were they were um, dependent. On things that you know, like local TV and local radio, and in this day and age, um, you would still have like you know, you still have our smartphones, still the internet. Yeah. And so I actually think information would probably be easier to come by. Like this. That's a great show. You know what? This this might be supposed to be like a little older because uh, I don't know, maybe. Okay. But I guess it's, it is a farmhouse, so maybe the farmhouse wouldn't have a television in uh, 68. But I feel like that's far enough from the dawn of the television that, like, it would be more of a household thing. You know, I'm looking up on it, and I don't, um... I can't see anything about this trying to be set in, like, a different time. Hmm. Oh. We missed the that it, they have that like extended sequence where he's like bashing their brains in with a tire iron. Which again, that, that kind of felt kind of uh, Shaun of the Deadish as well. When yeah. He just like pummels that thing with a cricket bat. <laughs> Run over it. <laughs> I love how long it goes on too, because they they hit it and then they just keep hitting it until blood starts squirting out. <laughs> Nobody understands cricket. If you don't know what a crumpet is, don't understand cricket. I love how there's no, like, uh, from, oh, from, like ah, that's also what if that some, was just a guy? That's also something you wouldn't get in a modern, like, these zombies reacting to the pain. Why are you in my house? <laughs> 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 my friends and I were coming <laughs> over. We're just drunk. <laughs> Although that, that guy was a bathrobe. Like, <laughs> what family buried him in a bathrobe? <laughs> Poor bastard. <laughs> Frank really loved his bathrobe, so we put him in it. Which is ironic, because he the fucking never took bait. <laughs> That's what killed him. Don't look at the smell. It. The bacteria. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that, uh, you know what to do with this. It's uh, your buddy. <laughs> Zombie number three. It's Dead Jim. I've dead, found... dead Jim. <laughs> dead Jim always terrified me <laughs> in Muppet Treasure Island. I remember oh, when I was... shit, yeah. It's about... I keep forgetting Dead Jim was a thing in that movie. <laughs> I thought you were talking about, oh, yeah, he does set him on fire. <laughs> he just, like, it's just instant flames. I know, right? Man, it's, it's, you know, those, those uh, polyester bathrobes. Jesus Christ, they're a fire probably, hazard. You should probably kick them off the porch, because then the house is going to burn. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! 
But it's okay if we if we nail up this door with more wood, the fire will spread more easily. <laughs> Here goes Jimmy Stewart. He opens up the door and he's like, oh, I forgot your brains. <laughs> We're at Bill's house. It's a frat shop. What to do with my brains, Fred? <laughs> oh, Bill's house. <laughs> Fred's house. What was your earliest? Um, what was your earliest introduction to zombies? To zombies? Mine might be Treehouse of Horror 3 from The Simpsons. Uh, you know what? Mine Bart might be two. No, 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 I'm sorry. Tell lie. Michael ja- the music video to Michael Jackson's Thriller. <laughs> my first introduction. My, uh, my mother showed me that when I was like born. It scared the fucking shit out of me. You know, it's, my first interaction with uh, Michael Jackson was uh, my mom was watching that. Uh, that remember, remember like in the early 90s, he had that, or in the mid 90s, he had that big uh, interview series that like lasted for a week living with Michael Jackson I think so and that was like it was like a CBS like like they did a week long oh, five that. part documentary I think I think it might be no living with Michael Jackson was that was a British reporter oh okay and that, that aired like he stayed with Jackson for a while but it was like it aired as one special oh and there was a lot of complaints after that both from Jackson and people accusing Jackson of things hmm. based on that but uh I remember, I remember, I looked up at the TV, and that that was when like I was, you know, he had he had the very, you know, by the nineties that was the point where he had like a lot of the plastic surgery done and stuff, and then he had like the very uh, was this was this when Jackson was like Snow White or like a tanned white Snow White? Okay. Um, and, I always thought he looked good around like Earth Song. He just looked like a slightly like a, like a tanned white guy. Mm-hmm. No, that was a. But, uh, he had the long hair. You know, Michael Jackson had that very like soft spoken like voice. And I remember like I looked I looked at the TV and I was like I was like, Who's that woman? And my mom was like, That's not a woman, that's Michael Jackson. Show some respect. <laughs> she was like, you idiot! This is Michael Jackson. It's the king of pop. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd <laughs> Your mama just gives you a wedgie and pushes your head to the floor. <laughs> I love this shot. Like the music box you see around like, that's such a Beautifully composed shot. I yeah, love that. It's pretty innovative. He's like, I'm gonna take off the front door to back up the See, lock I mean, up the back door. I mean, here you know, here is another trope that gets introduced. Uh, boarding in, up the house. In the, yeah, boarding up the house, boarding up the doors and windows, and then I'm fairly certain, like soon, we get that shot of, uh, you know, obviously they can't board up every nook and cranny in the in the windows. Uh, so you have that shot where like there's arms like coming in, mm. which has been. Uh, she know. is no help. Didn't do anything. <laughs> just some little bricks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like the arm, that, you know, the arms going through the boards is like that's been used in everything. I mean, it's even they even parodied that in the Simpsons movie. Yeah. Home of a place to have a chainsaw. <laughs> here's here's a couple small boards. That's okay. I'm just. Putting a door <laughs> on the door. Well, that's good. We'll use that to plug up the mouse hole so no, so no oh zombie mice God. come and get us. This, I mean, <laughs> she's, she's my acting, brother just died. She's acting more like a zombie than the zombies are. She's the Betty Brant of a zombie. Uh, what? Yeah. My brother died. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Elizabeth Banks was in this movie. Oh, that's right. She did play Betty Brant. That was, that was one of her. That was one of her like first big roles. Really? Yeah, the first movie was what two? Th- was Spider Man one two thousand two thousand two two thousand two yeah two thousand two because it was after nine eleven because they had to remove all that stuff. Oh, I'm so high, I can hear him. I like that song. I like I it's like okay. hero. I like that. It's okay. Do you remember the uh, song they used in the um, trailers? I wanna take you on a roller coaster. See that that was a good song, and I was always I, just like, that I was remember a, that. That wasn't that wasn't an, an, that was that was that was the period of my life where I don't remember ever thinking about movies, but I just went and saw them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so something I noticed in the opening bit, which um, I, I think if, if this movie was made today, they might. Um, no, I flip this, but on shots of Barbara, where she's just kind of like fumbling around, it's full of um, it's full of, of, of like wide shots and steady cam, like flat wide shots. Whenever it, it's focusing on on Ben doing stuff, it's like um, 
handheld in his face, very energetic. And I think if they were to do it earlier, uh, now they might flip that to kind of because the kind of um, kind of shakiness of the shaky cam would kind of would kind of more mirror we could Barbara's. Use, we could use this to kill the zombies. I don't know if, if she's Paul Zalumas. Uh, she just Paul Zalumas. Paul Zalumas. Oh, fuck this. Uh, I think there's uh, 40, 404. I forget actually falls out on the floor. Please throw it on the floor. Please put a Loomis. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you take this to the bag. I don't know, fuck this. I said it on the uh, on the Halloween 2 commentary, but that's still my favorite moment. <laughs> it's so good. Just, uh, but there's no uh, reason but for it. Uh, oh, fuck this. <laughs> and he does it twice. Yeah, does it twice. <laughs> He does it. He does. He folds sheets for, uh, <laughs> for no good no, no. reason. I was gonna say he he folds sheets twice, but then he yells that he shot him, shot Michael Myers six times, at least a dozen times. So he shoots that he shot him six times. He shoots that he shot him six times more than he folds sheets. No more shoot. Done it again. Who <laughs> killed again? <laughs> No mercy, you crafty fox. No one will know you folded these sheets. <laughs> People will think Myers did it. <laughs> then they'll know he's crazy. He wrecked a car, <laughs> killed a man, and then folded the sheets. <laughs> and he'll be off scot free, <laughs> Loomis. Yes, Myers killed the boy that the killed the boy that the uh, Stroud girl was attracted to. Yes, everything, all of Loomis's plans are coming into place. All of the place. pieces are in place. <laughs> Reference in the commentary if one heard two days ago at this point. Um, <laughs> uh, this we get we get uh, kind of Ben's backstory here. I, I think he, 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 in this scene he, he, he does he does a good job. Good job. She's don't give a fuck. Yeah, whatever. whatever. I I don't care. <laughs> My brother's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She's just drunk for no reason. <laughs> she just starts getting hammered. <laughs> well, I mean, if we're gonna be locked in here with a bunch of bunch of things coming after us i'm getting pissed <laughs> <laughs> like cloud through them now see ben's awesome i just like fucking murders everyone yeah <laughs> they weren't zombies but i plowed right through them ben you killed the zombie barbara she was a zombie <laughs> just wanted to crush <laughs> jesus This is they scare through the air like bugs. This is very, very graphic. Hmm. <laughs> ben just turns around and he's like, yeah, I wasn't done talking. He just drops a grapefruit. Shut up! <laughs> ben, I know I just met you, but I love you very much. <laughs> Shut up! I don't recall Johnny saying that. That is a lie. <laughs> Barbara is fake news. <laughs> she just, Barbara just kind of rewrites and history to say like, yeah, I tried to save him from the monster and I fought him away. <laughs> but it's we're too, we're, we're too grave. And folks, he ran into a grave So I had to put him out of his misery. <laughs> She's turned into a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Shot the zombie with my <laughs> laser <laughs> face. <laughs> But it but it broke. That's why I can't use it now. <laughs> Be a one third. Ben's it. like, what's a laser? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> We're one third into this movie, and Barbara's finally just started to unbuckle her coat. She must have been like, I'm not sure what the weather conditions were, but she could have been like, warm as fuck. Well, I mean, it, it what she did. <laughs> literally in the first sentence, she sets up what time of day it is and what season it is. Because she it's just that it says eight p.m. and the sun is still out. Yeah. She, why was she wearing a coat? Oh, sure. I don't know. It's Gordon. <laughs> I know he's trying to put a table up on the wall. I just want to play some foosball. That's just him being like, I don't care. Do you see what I'm doing here, Barbara? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm actively trying to keep us alive, and you're going to pieces. And I looked up, and I said, "Good evening." Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fair. She had just seen her brother. Me. No excuse for everything, TJ. Yeah, I know. Quit falling to pieces. You lost your brother, not your life. I think you should just calm down. We all got problems, Barbara. <laughs> 
there's a moment where like when she grabs her she grabs her coat and she's like squeezing at it it kind of reminds me of at the end of the room when Johnny has a breakdown oh, everyone betray me <laughs> You watch the trailer. The disaster artist. Oh, it looks good. And then, <laughs> when he's like, when he's like, maybe you should, maybe you should fumble around on the floor before you, before kill, you yourself. Just kill yourself. No, this is good. <laughs> Why? Johnny is every man lover, everyone's best friend, possible vampire. <laughs> oh, that killed me. Possible vampire. <laughs> For more information on the room, please, please go to the FTCR commentary for the room. Or just FTCR in general, because we can't go a single LP or, without Yeah, or go or listen to a uh, go watch out the room LP. <laughs> Your brother is dead! <laughs> we need we need a Dan DeVito to come back in that. <laughs> Your mother is dead! She's like, I know! Oh! He punched her! Oh, um... He punched the highlights out of her hair! <laughs> He did, but I, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was a thing in the in the script to not make Ben seem too aggressive, but they they clearly show her smacking him in the face first. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, he, he's way overpowered. Well, I mean, I, th you know, that was the, why 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 you dress it up, Ben? No, um, <laughs> I think, no. I think he's just taking her coat off so she can breathe. The, the, no, <laughs> she was taking her coat off before, and then all of a sudden she was just like, "I'm gonna put it back on." <laughs> He runs, he runs out of boards, so he just, he just nails her to the wall to keep the door open. <laughs> he closed. No, keep it open. <laughs> he uses her to tie the, oh, the, he uses her to open the door and to tie it open outside. That's like, there used to be, there, there's an old wives tale that, um, if, uh, if there's a tornado coming, you should open you should your open. window slightly. You'll yeah, open the window slightly. And so it's like, no, that just fucking ruins me. So it goes through. <laughs> ben has that same delusion. <laughs> he thinks that if he opens the doors, zombies will just go right through and then move on to the next town. If I open one door and just tie a woman to the door, the zombies will just go, oh, no, this house is already occupied. I'm going to go, oh, jeez. This house already got somebody in it. Good kid, no brains. <laughs> no brains, no brains at all. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm losing to a zombie. Come on, go home. Ah, oh, come on. Leave us alone. <laughs> what is it? This, movie, this is movie commentary. Look at that. I'm, I'm telling. I'm telling you. You should. He should just try the. Uh, just try the old Jimmy Stewart technique. For well, second day, that looked like, I'm sure it wasn't, but that looked like product flesh. In fact, that he had that lighter fluid, like, perfectly in shot, facing the camera. Yeah. He's like, oh, like, please buy this type of lighter fluid. You think that was a, you think that was a thing at this time? Uh, product placement in that way? Possibly, possibly in some of the real big studio movies, but this, I, I, I don't believe this was a studio movie at all. Uh, no, because, um, uh, one thing that, one thing that we haven't, uh, you know, really got into yet, but the reason you're seeing this, you know, you're gonna put this up with the visual, right? The reason why yeah. this is part of the public domain is, um, and the reason why if you go on, uh, well, this way you can find this on YouTube, you can find it, there's like six different versions on Amazon Prime to watch. Yeah. Um, and the reason why, if we wanted to, we could legally sell this on DVD. Yeah. Same with Nosferatu. Um, but the thing, with this, with, I believe it's just in the credits because Romero forgot to, to put copyright the year it was made till like '68 anywhere in the movie. That means that um, it, it, it you know it, there's no copyright on it. Yeah. Which means that he, uh, which is why they, they, they've been uh, Romero over the years has tried different things to try and regain some of his copyrights. Like there's been uh, remakes, there's been colorized versions. There was a animated version a few years ago, where, um, where different animated, you know, like um, the recently released fan remade Mama Luigi. Yeah. It's like that. They, a bunch of different animators took different scenes. Oh, cool. Kind of did that. Um, but yeah, I, I believe it's something that you know, obviously, never meant to happen. Um, I think it's still, you know. Damn, he works fast. It was, it was still a sore spot with Romero up until he. I want to say, so we're recording, obviously this is coming out for Halloween 2017, 
And for the life of me, I can't remember if it was earlier this year or last year a male died. Yep, July 16th, 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty prolific name in, in the horror genre. Um, uh, particularly zombies, I think. You know, even though, well, Night of the Living Dead was the one that kickstarted the whole craze, I think most people would say Romero's magnum opus would be the uh, follow up to this, Dawn of the Dead. Yeah. And you had the Day of the Dead, um, which that was kind of like the end of that trilogy. And then um, in the 2000s, Romero started making more movies like the Land of the Dead. One of them. I know there was one that was like found footage. And this is where Ben's drunk is going. Look at that. Ah, ah, ah. They got these Chewy's hammers here. $5 got here. Hey, you can't smoke in here. <laughs> look at that, look at that. You know this made in the 60s because everybody was smoking. <laughs> Even the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it if it cuts back and the zombies are just smoking. <laughs> <laughs> just deriving no pleasure from it. <laughs> just, just has it in its mouth. <laughs> Even though it's afraid of fire. <laughs> I'm honestly really surprised that neither the uh, zombie that he burned on the porch or the uh, couch that he burned, uh, like, right next to the house caught the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, got, you just wasted a cigarette. Where do you find a gun? I did find a gun. That's like five cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, try that at your, ne at your nearest Walmart. <laughs> I got five cigarettes. Can I try for a gun? It's a good thing he found batteries for the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jimmy. Here's a gun. What a fucking batteries. <laughs> and I gotta fucking get my own batteries in here? You didn't get batteries for this? Similar killings have been reported around the Houston and Galveston area. I like that. There's a little oh, plot point of uh, he tried, you know, he finds shoes for the wear. Oh yeah, cause she lose her shoes. Yeah, she's like in a, in a catatonic state right now. Barbara's like, like ah. Well, I mean, yeah. This place is you know, she crashed the car. Solid. Her brother's dead. That's really why she's upset. Like shit, I, I, I live two hundred miles away. I'm gonna get home now. Glad Johnny's dead. He was a prick, but I gotta get that car back. <laughs> Mom's gonna kill me. I broke the car. Oh no. <laughs> The prom's tomorrow! <laughs> she, the, the, the twist end of the movie is that she gets home and uh, her parents yeah, are like, thank right. God you're safe. Where's your brother? He's dead. Oh no, thank God you survived though. Where's the car? <laughs> no, the twist is she gets home and like her family is zombies, but normally like they've always been zombies. <laughs> <laughs> They're just chained up. She's just like, mama, papa. Just like, uh, just like Sean the Dead. Yep. Everything is all right for now. May I speak on the radio? Okay. <laughs> and then, over the radio is, is when we first get the uh, hints that, you know, these, pe these people are being eaten. Yeah. Because we just see Johnny get his head smacked in. You know, there, there is this corpse here, but we don't really know exactly. Yeah, but what the face is him. ripped off. The, the fa face is ripped off, but like, we don't, at this point, we don't know that person's been eaten. I thought I thought it was moving. <laughs> like, it was like, it was like, it was like, like Ben was, was going. Wait, 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 wait. Dead people aren't supposed to move. Just like this. Just a little bit, so the camera is kind of... Okay, got it. It's funny, it's like... And that, that shot where he's dragging in, in that that corpse, and you can just see the shadows on the wall. You just see Ben start punching the corpse for no reason. <laughs> I can't make sure it's dead. <laughs> I just like punching corpse. That would have been a good twist if, because uh, I, I don't think at this point it's a, it's a, it's established that um, uh, 
I don't even know when that comes up, that if you get bit or you know, killed by a zombie or whatever, that you would become one. Mm. So that, uh, that would have been a good twist if, if the body upstairs reanimated and then you just have this faceless zombie that comes out halfway through the movie. I mean, way too expensive, but it's really do. <laughs> But again, all the, we just heard it all over the radio. That's the, you know, that's the flat out saying they are eating the flesh of their victims. <gasps> oh, we didn't lock the door. Oh, that's right. I forgot. There's other people. I thought he did lock that door though. Do your worst. He locked the door. We're from town. We're from a town. <laughs> Which one? You know, the town. That town. I just. Downtown. <laughs> go downtown. <laughs> well, your life's a joke. You go downtown. <laughs> Man, hey, thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> see, see you next year for more tales of the public domain. <laughs> um, I know that Rob Zombie used a lot of clips from uh, this movie and uh, the... Uh, the, the radio broadcast is referenced a couple times in some of his music. He kind of looks like the dad from that, that 70s show. He does. Like Wait, bulldog. no, he doesn't look like Red. I think he does. It, it's even a mixture between the dad from that 70s show and the guy from Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah, he looks just like the guy from Hot Tub Time Machine. I think he looks like a younger Red as well. Uh, that's maybe. I think the eyes are too big. That w that's what makes him look like the guy, the guy from Hot Tub Time Machine. Kind of has a little Dan Castellaneta in him too. <laughs> Maybe he's act that's just another guy. That's another guy, but, but, but well, I mean, because he is the dad of like the the family, right? And then, then that's a I can't I don't remember who that guy is. Well, I think so, TJ. I think it's clear, though, you stole your haircut from this guy. Dan? You give him, ro him royalties that I shit. don't see how that's relevant. Nope, this movie's not copyrighted. I'll, 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 I'll pay shit. In fact, that guy should pay me. Because I came first. I didn't see this movie until I, I was 24, so... Technically, my haircut came first. You're only 22. <laughs> they turned over a car and only three of them did it but they did it off screen so they have to film it yeah <laughs> I was looking up this movie was made for uh, over for children a, over a hundred thousand dollars which I wasn't expecting the budget to be so big yeah um, at this that's point. uh what Yes, you know, it's a expensive. Yeah, that is a that is a bit expensive. How much was Clerks? Uh, okay, uh, 24, 25 grand? Jeez. Yeah, but I mean, there's, I think the difference though is that this movie has like, you know, camera movement. on like good camera work. Yeah, that's fair. Who's... <laughs> Is this girl also a zombie? He starts bashing her brains in. <laughs> well, Ben has his back turned. I'm a zombie. He's like, what happened to Barbara? <laughs> He's just like, um, she was turning. You two can do whatever you like. I'm going back down to the cellar. You better decide. Because I'm going to See, I don't know. What, what? And I'm not going to unlock it again no matter what. I feel like... I feel like if you back yourself into a corner like that, then you know, there's no, there's nothing you can do at that point. Well, I think oh, this was also a, a, a thing where, uh, you know, in, in these old houses, things like cellars and basements weren't attached to the main house. So the issue is they have to brave the outdoors to get back into the cellar where, they, where there's more people. Um, so I, you know, but yeah. So in something like this, then I guess what. I guess part of me is like, I wonder why. I wonder why they left in, in the first place. Oh no, his hands! Oh, hands come through. Get, get the hands. <laughs> like, like Barbara covered up the knife. Oh! Oh my 
god. That's that that's some good effects. For yeah. Sixty eight. Chopping off fingers. I wouldn't be surprised if that hand was was just like a raw onion. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. definitely. <laughs> Probably a potato. <laughs> George Romero was like, "I'll give you a grand if you let me cut your hand off, <laughs> fingers off on camera." <laughs> I buy him a hundred thousand dollars in nineteen sixty eight money. <laughs> That's more money than you'll ever see in your lifetime. Let me chop off your hand. <laughs> well, technically, I won't be doing it. An actor will. So think about how I'll have to think how bloody this guys. I know. Kill me, the big hey, uh, boo -boo. <laughs> I just got shot. Yogi, it's not very nice to fight rangers. You want some of this? <laughs> Bigger in your baskets. <laughs> Bigger in your baskets. <laughs> Jim, you're going the wrong way. House is that way. New day. Oh, oh right. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, Grant, we're gonna get flapped on YouTube now. <laughs> why, did she, why did she get buried naked? Well, this I, guy got buried in, his, in a toga. <laughs> well, no, I think at this point, it's like it's starting to show that. It's not just, the, you know, buried people who will come back. I love the, the makeup on this woman. With her, like, face is just, like, crusty and yeah. fucked up and peeling. It's a great effect. I also think, you know, even though it's black, white, I think that the, the lighting is, is very effective. Especially it can't... There, there's some bad lighting at times. Um, like, especially there. Like, you really didn't get an opportunity to... Uh, I mean, I really don't think that was intentional. That, uh... Zombie like was it eating a bug that was like off the tree? The oh, one that was slow. It was like picking off like tree bark. Like, oh, yeah. this is good. I'm <laughs> ram bark. <laughs> bark, bark. Yes, no, this is your last chance. No beating around the bush. I love, I love how like the guy in the middle is the yes man. Like he's yes, just. Like... I couldn't bring her up here. She can't possibly take all the racket. And also, e even the first time I watched this movie, from the moment I saw uh, the bald guy. I was like, I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. He just thinks he knows everything. He doesn't have hair. Fuck him. No, he just thinks he knows everything. It's his house. He just thinks he knows everything. <laughs> you bastards. They already, they're, they're already like... This is all of the, uh, the earth that they're ever going to uh, inhabit again. So then he's like, they're like, I'm the king up here. Yeah. Go back to uh, monarchies. Who's this bra? Who's this bra? I don't know, what would you do? Would you would you hide in, in the basement like that, or would you... I mean, I would stay in the house until I had to. I don't always bug me about certain sex seasons of Walking Dead. Well, like, you know, you could just... If you get enough people together, you can just go to take them all out. Just get some sticks. And some fairy dust. <laughs> and then you get them all. I, I was going to argue with you for a minute, and then I realized that you're a child. <laughs> All we need is, you know, some sticks, some stones, and a pocket full of worms. Oh, I forgot about the daughter. What about Tom and Jerry? <laughs> My old friends! <laughs> and Bugs and Daffy! <laughs> B -b -b Mickey, Mickey and Donald. <laughs> oh man, I was Papa over here. He'd, he'd make short work of those zombies outside. <laughs> Buddy, boop. <laughs> he just wants to watch television. I uh, bet Buddy Poop will just uh, seduce the zombies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> boop, boop, be doop, boop. Work's been kind of slow since movies went to cutter, but I still got it, Eddie. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Give him a fucking drink. Uh, no, she sells, uh, uh, smoking things, remember? I thought, I thought she was, I thought she was the, No, um... she was not the waitress, because the penguins, the penguin takes his order. Because, Tunes. Yeah. No, but I thought, I thought she, I thought she brought him in. Oh, no, she didn't. Nope. On the raft. Yeah, and I mean she was ice. Like, she was, yeah. 
He's like, cigarettes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that bad? We obviously were talking don't, about. Don't try, don't try and school me on one of my favorite movies. Oh, you were talking about Frame Lodger Rabbit. It is, it is weird how they had Betty Boop, you know, <laughs> flog cigarettes in that movie. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that was. Uh, I mo- recently, recently I got into that. Um, that video really fascinated me about the um, production of it. Did you watch that? Recently, they had this uh, viral video that came out about the uh, production of the movie and how um, uh, they had they did all the filming of the um, real life stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Before they did any of the uh, animation. They had to. And um, well, there was there was a couple things. There's a couple uh, like points about it. Like uh, you know how there's that there's that scene where um, uh, Eddie and Roger are. Um, Sneaking into uh, uh, shoot the studio where uh, Marvin Acme gets shot. No, not Marvin Acme. Uh, the head of the uh, was it R.K. Maroon? Oh, R.K. Maroon. Yeah, where he gets shot. Um, in that scene, they're, they're, when they shot the scene, Eddie didn't have the eye level right to be looking at Roger, so they had to animate it where Roger like puts himself up against the wall and he's taller so that when Eddie was looking at him he had the right eye height Roger is, isn't in that scene he's outside and he gets hit in the head by Jessica Rabbit and put in the trunk of the no stone. he gets out of the car first and Eddie tells him to stay put so oh, yes he, yeah you said the scene in the office and you're wrong no 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 I said when they go there you said when they were in there you, you said you. you said specifically when Roger Rabbit was speaking to R.K. Maroon I said when they go there <laughs> yeah, to go see Marvin Acme. No, it's R.K. Maroon, you maroon. Yeah, Judge Doom, what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I brain. I brain. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was a movie on. Oh, yeah, and then. then. <laughs> we were talking about a better movie. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a classic, but, you know, there's... There's no one in this movie you can jerk off to like Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, press pause <laughs> and insert your uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit DVDs. Yeah, I will and continue from there. Press play. <laughs> <laughs> now, just now, everybody's everybody's in the house. Barbara's still. <laughs> Barbara's still just hot for us at this point. <laughs> She's off her gourd. <laughs> this is a nice. Her brother, stop making excuses for her. Her brother's <laughs> going to give this shit. Her brother is dead. <laughs> oh, there is a television. I forgot. Yeah. You get everything. I do. That's not fair. People forget things. Yeah, no. Are you just going to stare at her? <laughs> she's like, I was like, oh, I'm going to fuck this girl up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She starts licking the... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the uh, cover on the RJ. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> don't don't oh, hold she fly cigarettes. <laughs> she she's a zombie. She she's afraid of fire. <laughs> the zombie virus has gone airborne. <laughs> I'm Harry's wife. He's like. Who's who's that? Ridiculous. She attacks him Talk with the you knife. Give me one of those. I thought he was taking her cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> what a jerk. That's why I don't like him. <laughs> Your brother was killed. I said that's like her one personality trait. Is the brother was killed. Barbara is our uh, our protagonist, and uh, uh, her, her brother. You mean protagonist? Her brother was killed. Okay, what 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 kind of character arc did she go through? Well, um, she starts licking stuff. She uh, she uh, she comes to terms with the fact that her brother was killed. <laughs> How does she? How does she come to terms with it? Does she like? Does she learn from the experience? I don't want 
Well, well not exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, what happens at the end when that? What's what's her arc? Well, she starts off as a girl whose brother is killed, right? And she ends up as a girl whose brother was killed. No, no, no. At the end of the movie, she, I see her more as a as a as a girl who whose brother had been killed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you told me you just you telling me there was no table for you. To, oh yeah, that's right. You nailed the table to the door. I'm surprised I didn't nail the chairs to the door. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Like didn't even dismantle. <laughs> I don't keep them out. I kind of wish it was Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Zombies are rising from the grave. <laughs> Eating the flesh of the liver. <laughs> good night. <laughs> I'm Marty Ziff. Good night and good luck. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's just instead of Walter Cronkite, it's just that, it's that dinosaur puppet from the dinosaur shows who was an impression of Walter Cronkite instead. Who? Are back Did you ever watch dinosaurs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the, new, the newscaster was was like was like a parody of him. He had like a Flintstones brand like uh like rock rock pun name. Uh, the dinosaurs was was smarter than that. <laughs> That's true. It was. I remember really liking dinosaurs. Yeah, it was good. Final episode fucked me up though. The kid. What? The final episode with the, like the ice age comes and everyone dies. What? <laughs> you know that? No. Yes. The show ends in a fucking dark night, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Not the mama. Not the mama. Not alive anymore either. Oh my god. Terrifying. They told him to go someplace. Was that? Well, see, uh, Ben gets there, but they need they need gas, but no one has any gas. Um, so I mean, it, the zombies did kind of well. They they referenced the truck being thrown, you know, pushed on its side. But if they if they get some gas, they can escape. But I think at this point now, there's too many people. Yeah, so I'm not sure if they. I'm sure they could just all crowd into it. Well, I mean, yeah, they could also. Uh, they could also. Uh, Clip. Yeah. Hop in the bed of the truck. Just fight the zombies. Just punch them. Just like in the uh, in the uh, Xbox game. I love that. You know, the, the level in the back of the truck. <laughs> and Bob is doing all those, all those backflips with the lightsaber. I remember that. Shit. Yeah. I, I remember the double lightsabers. Two double lightsabers. From uh, Kirby 64, Crystal Shots. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these reporters. Look at like. Are those accurate microphones? Because those look a little, those look a little exaggerated. <laughs> 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 like they're made of cookies. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the 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 credited prop prop master. <laughs> Was that the night before baking cookies? Oh no, the microphone's <laughs> broke. We forgot the microphones. Make one out of cookies. Like, this is one go. His face is like, when he keeps putting the microphone past him, his face looks annoyed. <laughs> and maybe because he's supposed to bite it. He's supposed to bite into it. <laughs> if you bite into the microphone, again, you're fired, Johnson. <laughs> like, how, like how the general, or the, the police chief, whatever, whoever he is, he looks like, without... Uh, even though he's not wearing glasses, he looks like the police chief from the Sandlot. I mean, I'll be watching that. You've never seen the Sandlot. <laughs> what movie is the Sandlot? That's the one about the uh, the kids playing baseball, and the the ball goes into the in the other yard, and uh, there's a big like it, it it becomes like a Cujo parody. There's like a big dog, and they think that if they go over there, the dog will kill him because the dog's like abnormally big. But they have this flashback where, uh, like, the guy who owns the dog is told that uh, the dog's too dangerous and has to be locked up. And uh, the the guy the guy who owns the dog is actually James Earl Jones. 
and uh, they, 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 a kid is telling a kid is telling the story. So all of the all of the acting is done by the actual by like adult actors, but all the lines are said by the kid. And so there's so you're saying they ripped off Ant Man? <laughs> yeah. So there's a part where uh, the James Earl Jones character is like, "How long do I have to keep you locked up?" And it cuts the guy, and he goes, he goes "Forever." <laughs> and then it keeps it like keeps on zooming into his face. It's like. For <laughs> 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 so good. Oh, I have to show it to you then. It's a classic. Black robe. Black robe. County fire hell. <laughs> this is, I mean, I think, oh, you know, this is another thing with like the difference in the way these movies are written and structured now. Like, you, you wouldn't have like a zombie movie now where there's like a. 10 minute chunk of people watching TV to get information. Yeah. <laughs> like, how, like how they had the, uh, they had the expert on there. Like, like all those six episodes. Here's the scientist. Ah, as you can see. <laughs> so, uh, what you're saying is that this is the time to panic and, uh, people should, uh, think for themselves above, uh, helping their neighbors. Yes, I do panic. <laughs> Mr. McClure, what does DNA stand for? The end. <laughs> East Brady. I kind of feel like it's a bad idea to put everybody in one place in an area, because then, uh, then the zombies will get them. Yeah, I mean, obviously this is, you know, um, they're, 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 trying, they're establishing more of, of the, the lore of the zombies in, in this movie. But how, like, you know, you can, you can cut off their limbs and stuff, but they still... They're still kicking! I like the twist with the daughter. Yeah. I actually thought I actually thought that was the twist that um, that uh, James Rolfe was referring to when he reviewed this. The twist with the daughter. So I mean, only gasoline, only only brand name gasoline. <laughs> Will cure them of the zombie. American brand <laughs> gas. <laughs> Buy war bonds. <laughs> you just gotta, you gotta cover the zombies in war bonds. <laughs> just, just put them right on there. Just put them on the war yeah. bonds. Lick, lick them. And then just stick them on. In order to stop the zombies, we have to go to war. We need, we need war bonds, and you gotta wrap them in communist flags. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta save iron. <laughs> you gotta kill them with wood. Iron's too much of a precious resource. You see, Barber's got the idea. We got the little, little wooden stakes. We can't, we gotta save this. We gotta save the the metal for them when we go and fight the communists. <laughs> the communists that brought the zombies. <laughs> What they say, better dead than red. You're it, then. Yeah, uh, universal health care is what created <laughs> zombies. So, uh, socialists are what, uh, are, are what brought the uh, end of the world. I don't know. But, uh, I'm a little boss that ain't too many zombies up in, in Canada. That's because all the zombies came, came down for our medical coverage. <laughs> <laughs> So what seems to be the problem, Mr. Johnson? Me, dead. Hmm, I understand. Hmm, yes. We can fix you, but it's going to be very expensive. We're going to take some tests. <laughs> some very expensive tests. And then give you a uh, $50,000 bandage. I know you said you're dead, but we're going to make sure you don't have leukemia first before we treat you for that. Like, oh, okay. Uh, we should probably start treating you for leukemia. <laughs> it's very expensive. I mean, safe. <laughs> I guess it's like the um, the budget is is it's because like a good chunk of this movie is just like people in a in a house, you know. If this, you know, there's a there's a term for this in TV writing, and they call it a butthead episode, where you keep your cast of characters in like one set, you know. Like there's really speaking, they don't move around too much. It's uh, you know, it's a you know, a few sets, a few actors. I mean, I think later on we do get to see. More of the scope where they do move to other, other locations and things, but it's uh, 
I, w- I would be I would be uh, interested to see what a budget breakdown on this movie was. And went, and went to I know I'm I'm very curious since you said that the fact that this movie cost a hundred thousand. In in a hundred thousand in nineteen sixty eight money. That's, I mean, uh, in terms of inflation, I mean that's that would probably be over. Hold on, I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look this up now. I'm gonna put my estimate is gonna put that roughly. Between five and six hundred thousand. But there's gonna be more and more of those things. Uneducated estimate is gonna be. Yeah, listen. Remember when we had to So again, stuck in, in, in a situation in, in like this, you know, I think the uh, some of the characters are like, "We're safe here. Remember, we're gonna be, we're gonna be good." And then other people are like, oh, "No, we got, we gotta leave. We gotta leave." What would you do? In, do in a, you know, not the living day slash walking dead situation, would you, uh, would you fight or flee? Uh, depends on if I could get a weapon, like a good weapon. Like I don't mean like I don't mean like the the tire iron. What's up with that? No tire iron. You bust some people's faces in then. Yeah, I I would probably run before I fought. Oh, yeah? yeah. Run and hide. I think what the zombies is, all you need to do is just, um, like, if you if you had an attic where you could, like, retract the ladder you just got there. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's like the old school Daleks, just, you know, oh, old school Daleks was like stairs stumped them. They could yeah. go upstairs. <laughs> By the way, this movie would have cost over 700000 Oh, damn, close. 705 Damn it. 100000 sure. That's insane. Oh, I'd like to leave. Yes. Um, you just blew my mind with how much this, how much this movie costs know. to make. Let me, let me double check. I think, I think, get that. I bet these these actors got stiffed too. One hundred and fourteen thousand dollars. Yikes. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug that in. It, uh, it made, it made thirty million. Very made, made thirty million. Box office revenue was thirty million. I wonder if that's all time. Um, I kind of want to check that. If it was 114000 then this movie cost this much to make. $804,000 in 2017 dollars. Good lord. And then you said, then you said it made... $30 million. $30, $30 million, okay. Over, the, over that segment when, they, when he's looking at the woman, I just want to play like cheesy saxophone music. Twenty-one million. That's what it would have made. So he, he made less money for his age. Okay. Made thirty million. Oh, thirty million. Yeah. I only put three. I was wondering what your face was. I was like, like, what I do. 200, 211 million. Damn, son, that's a that's that's good. That's, you know, that's that's profitable. Get him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll put their hands up. Like, okay, I give up. I give up. I feel like you should maybe stop throwing. Like, like maybe like put it out and then like toss it. Like, stop throwing. I feel like there should have been. Oh a, no, he's looking at that guy. Where he hit the, oh, he's on fire. <laughs> That's probably that's most of the uh, most of the budget went to uh, giving that guy skin back. Ah, <laughs> oh, that messed up. We're gonna set, we're gonna set you on fire, but part of our, our budget is gonna go to skin grafts for you. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Give me that shirt. <laughs> Give me them teeth. I feel like these zombies they are crazy. They are very expressive. I hope you have one damn good driver. Get a rock! <laughs> Get a rock! <laughs> now it's the exciting chase sequence. Yeah, when they, they get in the truck and then uh, nothing happens. <laughs> and by exciting, I mean it's not. By it's not, you mean it is not exciting. <laughs> by exciting, I mean oh shit, the zombie. 
You said I got on fire. <laughs> I just want to ride. <laughs> We're just looking for the bus stop. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy gets knocked over. Yeah. My, my own joke made me cry. <laughs> is this day for night or is this actually a dawn? Because it, it looks like dawn. I think it, it's meant to, it's meant to be night out. I think certain shots. I think they were chasing them. And then, as soon as they stopped the car, they were like, we don't have to try as hard now. So they, they just start, they just start, um, shuffling towards them. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, what an idiot. I'm just joking. Let's go. See, if, 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 I, if I was Ben, I would just, like... Systematically run up, smack one of them, take the head out, run away, run back. Yeah. You know, I, I, I would start. I would start trying to take out the uh, the zombies. I can't. They left him. What a, that guy is so dumb. They're also screwed because like the truck's still on fire, so like, it's just gonna keep getting hot and hot. Come on, come oh, wait a minute! Doesn't it explode? Yeah. Oh, you know what's great is that is that we're doing two movie commentaries where be where trucks explode, <laughs> <laughs> both through stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great couple of movies we chose. <laughs> I fucked that one shirtless this guy. That this seemed to be the Incredible Hulk in a few years. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I will. I will be in your uh, or your Halloween movie if uh, you let me take my shirt off. <laughs> you should have a scene where a guy is so jealous of my of my uh, physique and he shoots that he, me. That he rips my shirt off. <laughs> so for the rest of the film, I have to show my uh, not Rip abs. Biceps. <laughs> my not abs. Well, this this was released on October first. Was it? Yeah, so you know, this, this was modern age. That would that would class as a Halloween movie. <laughs> you could probably you could release a Halloween movie any time of year, and people are still gonna be like, "It's my favorite Halloween movie." Are you serious? I'm sorry. Just... Oh yeah. yeah. Let him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He saw what you did. See, I hate that guy. Well, to, to be fair, in a situation like that, he has, you know, there's more people in his family downstairs. It's, it's, you know, it's... Yeah, but if you would have just let him in, the zombies wouldn't be that close. It's what, it's what Spock always said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. Yeah, but I don't care, because if he hadn't waited, the zombies wouldn't be that close. I mean, what are you doing? You're at the door when he was there. Yeah! <laughs> Take that! <laughs> he just hoped you. Yeah, I hit him again. <laughs> Get him! That is a really bad like this. This is is, is a pretty bad fight. Kick his ass! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he made you almost be zombie food. Get out of smart. Ah, yeah. <laughs> As you get. We're not answering the door. <laughs> <laughs> next time I, I ring my uh, next time I ring the house and no one else is gonna find someone and do that. <laughs> Just beat them to a pulp. Just punch him three times in the face. I should throw you outside with other things. What things? Yeah, you know. <laughs> what? Do, do, do fireflies? <laughs> Uncle's like, I got his leg! Yeah, barbecue! <laughs> Rips! Rips. <laughs> I love the, like, the entrails. This is, again... Oh, it's crazy. I forgot about that. 
at this point, I, I, I don't think there was anything produced in America. As, like, this was, you know, this is fucked up. Yeah. Like, even, even you know. There's like, an arm. You know, like, even uh, even for today's standards, this is still pretty. Uh, oh, that's awesome. This is still pretty fucked up. This is great. That's awesome. I forgot all about that. Yeah, probably, uh, you know, a good chunk of the money did, did probably go to the uh, zombie special effects. <laughs> and the truck blowing up. <laughs> we have to destroy a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, in, uh, it's in the contracts. It's in the contracts. <laughs> Is the zombie apocalypse over? I have a migraine. <laughs> <laughs> you should have let him in, dear. <laughs> need to go get more schnapps. <laughs> Barbara drank all the schnapps. <laughs> I need to make a smoothie. <laughs> you know anything about this area at all? Oh, that's so depressing. I never put two and two together that Miriam was an alcoholic. <laughs> Well, then they'd just be glad that they didn't make the uh, spin off show, the Batakis. Make my beaver. She would have, uh, she would have been in, uh, in AA. <laughs> Nuh uh. Yeah. Oh, do a, God. A sequel where, like, um, Helga's like 16 and like, Arnold there dated, but he'd moved moved away and he wasn't there anymore. Oh, and that's was, messed like, up. It would have been like, it would have, it would have like, been more like adult, like on purpose. I know, but, but uh, yeah. I, the fact that he moved away, I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What's wrong? Hype for the uh, the Jungle movie. I don't like. <laughs> Is she crying? She can't walk. She's too weak. Yeah, you know what? You know what kind of disease they have? They got fucking got your no, punk ass knocked out for once in the door disease. <laughs> Come over here. Let me show you what disease they have. <laughs> I did another one. <laughs> Zombie was playing with an entrail like it, like it was a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves an entrail. <laughs> <laughs> uh. These effects are so good. Uh, I know. <laughs> just, just, eating, just eating chicken, chicken covered in uh, pudding. But like the, the thing is, like they they act they, they act very human when they're eating. Like they're looking around and shit. They're like very human. So George. We're gonna make the. You wanted to make the microphones out of cookies, right? Should we make the the body parts out of cookies? No, chicken. <laughs> no human. <laughs> chicken covered in pudding. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to work on this project anymore. <laughs> Uncle G, I don't like this movie anymore. <laughs> Uncle George Romero. I don't... <laughs> but you just like imagine this, you know? Like it's just saying like. <laughs> The the dead anyone who's been bitten by this comes to life as as the they they, they never use the zombies but as you see they use the word ghoul several times yeah um just a bunch of good old boys <laughs> good lord the Duke's a hazard the movie <laughs> we're gonna jump them zombies. <laughs> I'm not sure how to act, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look around. I don't really smoke, but I wanna look tough, so I'm gonna have one hanging out of my mouth. Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. He that guy always reminded me of um uh I can't remember what his I think it's uh something Heffernan. The uh the guy from uh Super Troopers, the one plays Farva. Never seen Super Troopers. Never. Oh my god, two. I swing and a miss both times. Our reference yeah, movies you've never seen. Uh, the acting on this guy is not yeah. very good. The news reporter could look totally uh, more interested in what that guy's having to say. <laughs> this is the zombie apocalypse. This may be uh, the last moment or the shining moment of my career. 
but I just could That's not give any less of a shit. Yeah. He just keeps yeah. looking around to make sure, like, no one's stolen in his car. Like, what is he doing? Oh, I, still I mean, I guess he could be looking for zombies. I would say, of all these people with armed guns, I think he's, <laughs> I think he's okay to, like, spend a minute on this interview. You know? I kind of I, I, I like that idea better that all these me- all these guys with guns around and nobody's paying attention, but a zombie comes up by the reporter and bites like, him. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck, Jeff? I'm on break. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cardell. Oh no. <laughs> the makeup where um Captain Baldy was beaten up looks like his face has been burned. Like it's a very odd makeup. Yeah, because uh, it looks like Fre- it's like Freddy Krueger style makeup on his on his, bit, yeah. on his cheek. It's an odd, odd design choice. Get the gun. <laughs> Where's he gonna take the gun? Yeah, don't take the gun. He's gonna beat you up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, a brick! <laughs> <laughs> the zombies are sentient. <laughs> what? Oh no, it's the. The house's natural enemy, a brick. Oh no! He's got a wooden leg! He's got a board of a nail in it, run! <laughs> they, will, they will create even bigger boards <laughs> with even bigger nails in them. <laughs> You'll love and understand it, there's no match for our puny weapons. <laughs> <laughs> oh look! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Yeah. Oh, I love that! That is like in the room when he starts like he starts pulling out drawers and just pushes over. Like, One, <laughs> two, two, uh, uh <laughs> I can't believe how little force he threw that brick into the window. Oh, I hate that. Yep, I hate Captain Baldy. <laughs> it's his, his his official character name. Yep, Captain Captain gets punched the fuck out. <laughs> Mama said, knock you out. Punch him again! Yes! Get him! <laughs> those extreme... Those, those, like, um... Like, shots to, like, extreme close-ups is something that, uh... Toby Hooper, which again, unfortunately, almost recently passed away, uh, would do a lot in uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't think I've ever seen the original. Wow, I that's the first movie in this commentary that I said I've never... That's a classic, though. You've been like... So is the Sandlot. Oh, please. You want to know a real, a real good baseball movie, then and now? I've never even heard of that. Good. They made it off. <laughs> 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 oh, I hate you so much. No, it's, it's a real movie. It's a real movie. I don't believe you now. <laughs> Every time I see that movie, like from now on, I'm just like, I'm just like, ah. Yeah, he made that a prank. Good one. <laughs> You, got you, Rose- you take me to see it. <laughs> you got like, Rosie O'Donnell in that movie just to prank me out. <laughs> I mean, this, this she was in two movies about baseball? What was that one she was in? Uh, A League of Their Own. That's the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good movie. Carrie baseball. had these two movies she would always try to make me see. One of them was better now. And you sure you, sure you didn't want to, you know, want to you know before we start this commentary? Shut up. People are going to love hearing you do that every six seconds. I, I told you I was sick and you said, no, nah, I'll be fine. I love that. That's so. That's so fucked up. Yeah, that she's. A, yeah, that, oh that's, my God. that's such a good twist. Maybe, maybe it, it's just. I love that. That's that's so dark. Again, like modern, like a modern zombie wouldn't wouldn't do that. It would just, you know. Yeah, it would just attack rip her, her apart. Humans in zombie movies seem to be made out of cheese because they can just, you know, have their like <laughs> inside ripped apart so easily. 
And again, that level of blood and violence, you know, very shocking. When I, think that's, first I think that's crazy that, like, because she's a child, and I don't think that she could, like, I don't think that she could understand the concept that, uh, like, this tool could be used for murder. Mm. So I think it's, it's, it's strange that, like, the zombification gave her the, the, the knowledge that, that, like, this is a tool that I could use to disembowel my mother. <laughs> Well, maybe it depends if this uh, this TV is a zombie came back. Captain Brother Killer. I think that's him. Um, oh, yeah, I think so. Um, the <laughs> I come for you, Bob. Oh, I never caught that before. Never? It's really? Yeah. That's crazy. I've come to get you, Barbara. Oh, no, Barbara's dead. <laughs> Again, a lot of a lot of like twists, like a very very bleak movie. Yeah, this is uh. Just again, I think at, at this point most of the like, oh there he is. There, there's Captain America. A lot of the original <laughs> original the zombie do not steal, <laughs> <laughs> do not murder. A lot of the like you know um, oh classic American uh, horrors. Like well, I guess you want to go back to like the old um, Universal horror movies, would normally have some kind of happy ending or the monster will get defeated. I think um. Alfred Hitchcock would, you know, a handful of times in his his movies, they would often have like, you know, twist endings like uh, like Psycho. Or like how <laughs> like they're admiring the house. They're just like, this is very nice. We've been we've been congregating outside this house for a matter of hours, and I never imagined it would look like just on the inside. I love it if one of them just starts playing playing that piano. <laughs> It's a classic. <laughs> I guess for some reason, uh, in my head, all zombies. Who composed that? John Carpenter. Okay, yeah, John Carpenter. Uh, all zombies just sound like Mr. Plinkett. No, <laughs> uh, John Carpenter. Carpenter sees this movie. It's just like, what is that tune that the zombie plays on the on the piano? And then just like rips it off. Look at that moment there, but like everyone's. Everyone's trying to get in the door. There's that one zombie who's attacking the piano with cameras. Like, we're like, Dave, go re a twat. Like. <laughs> what? But this is a, this is a classic <laughs> instrument. He just goes and starts punching Captain Bodie some more. Oh this is God. what you get when you don't let me in. Shoot him again. Yeah, that, I, I think, I think that's, that's the start of... of that's a beat that is, it's a bit weird that Ben shoots him, you know? Why? Because the Captain Bo I don't know. It's he was zombified. No, I mean, not then earlier, when he shoots him before. Oh. That's the case of, like, you're wasting bullets there, man. Uh, he was actively, I mean, the main point of this movie is, is like, uh, you know, all these, all these people are strangers, and... You know they're they're in this together, but there are all these moments where they are just like looking out for themselves and go down to this like basic, you know, mm. primal instinct. So I mean, it makes sense that you know Ben felt threatened that, that twice now in a matter of minutes, this guy has tried to, you know, either not done something to prevent him from dying, or actively just tried to you know have have him you know hurt him mm. so you know i think it totally makes sense that that in a you know in a fit of rage ben would shoot him because he's just like i'm tired of dealing with you We're, i mean you know i'm trying to keep this house together and and survive this onslaught of um you know these things that we don't even understand but we know are just like completely murdering us well and then on top of that you know uh, he doesn't he he comes up with the plan to go get the gas, and then they get out there and the the uh, dingus uh, lights the truck on fire and then leaves him out there. Yeah, but yeah, but the, 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 that wasn't Captain Booty's fault. Yes, but like in all those things together, he's just there's he, the money shot helicopter. That's where the hundred grand oh went. Oh my god! But uh. <laughs> Were those even zombies, or are those just the guys? Either way, that you know, the fact that they got a helicopter, that would. I know, but that's kind of that's kind of disappointing. They just got a shot of the militia. Yeah, it would have been cool to have a 
Had a couple to show off the house being attacked. Or just, or like a butt ton of zombies. Or just a nice duck pond. You know. Yeah. Quack, quack. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the fact, in, in three, three times in a matter of like ten minutes, he was almost murdered by people's stupidity. Hi, I, can, I can totally understand Ben just being like, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> You just described the character arc that Rick Grimes goes through every season on The Walking Dead. <laughs> well then, uh, Walking Dead is a complete fact. How dare you? I mean, it's true. The Walking Dead has gone in. Has gone, has gone pretty bad. Yeah. We should be wrapped up here about three or four more hours. We'll probably get into Willard then. I guess you can go over there and meet the National Guard. Nick, you and the rest of these men want to come with me? Well, Bill, they're checking the office from the past. Oh, I see. Tell them we're going to stay with See how things are, things are winding down. Everything appears to yeah, I mean, yeah, we're getting to, um... Well, race the hounds, boys. <laughs> yeah, let the dogs get the zombies. <laughs> Zombified dogs, that would be badass. <laughs> That's what they do in the, uh... The sequel. <laughs> they just let the dogs get them? <laughs> as, as you just heard, that my son is not happy with the thought of zombified dogs. Yeah. I do, I do, like, unfortunately, I had, like, on oh, Night of the Living Dead, one of those movies where it, its reputation precedes it before, you know, I, I'd heard a lot about it before I um, was able to watch it, and unfortunately, uh, the twist had been spoiled for me. Aww. Before, um, it wasn't, like, it was, it was just because I was, I was, uh, going, up, going up on this day, I was a big, big horror fan, so I, I, I always watched these, like, horror, um, documentaries and things you know it's just one thing this UK channel channel 4 used to do these like 100 greatest blank like 100 greatest cartoons 100 greatest movies 100 greatest horror movies yeah. and, and uh, this was obviously up there and obviously you know when you talk about this movie uh, the ending is one of the more powerful moments in it so obviously that was brought up and it's like oh okay I mean, obviously, if, if Ben had been, um, you know, played by a, a white actor, I mean, I thought the ending would have been, uh, would have uh, still been a twist. But I guess, you know, the fact that he is of, of, of color and the, uh, you know, the, uh, I don't know, just, just, it's, especially in, in, in today's political climate. Climate, it's, yeah. yeah. It's just. Oh, right in the face. And again, he, he like, grabs his face, which is great. I th actually, I think if, if this movie was remade and and um, done, if this kind of ending was done, they would probably be. It would probably, uh, obviously, it probably you know mean more than, than it did back then. But again, even, even the fact that the lead actor was a was an African American was was a very slightly controversial thing back in. Oh yeah. Sixty eight. Oh, that's a shame. I still fucked up where the shooter is told to get to get him right between the eyes. And, and I mean, I mean, obviously the uh, you know the, the notion here is that that they think he's a zombie. Yeah. You know, you know, they, you know, they don't, you know it's like, oh look, it's a it's a black guy shooting. They are, they actively think it's a zombie. So. Yep. There we go. Dwayne Jones. Dwayne Jones. And there you have it, uh, ladies and James. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, waka waka. You know, horror, uh, horror classic. And, uh, you know, you could argue that in today's day and age, it's uh, it's uh, you know slightly dated. Um, and you know they, they stick him with fish hooks and drag him outside. You know. That's, yeah. Um, it, you know, you could argue it's slightly dated. I, you know, I think it is, it is a bit slow. You know, the entire second act is mostly just everyone in the house watching TV. But some of those effects towards the end, um, where it's like eating the intros and shit, that I, I still think that stuff holds up. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, final words, Theodore Jeffrey, on this movie. Um, I this is the second time I've ever seen this, and uh, I'm still pretty happy with it. I, I, I think this is pretty. You know, uh, this movie sets in motion all the uh, 
all the typical uh, zombie tropes that we see nowadays. Um, so I think it's just a very, you know, it's a product of the time, so it's, it's a very watered-down version of, of that. Um, you know, obviously, uh, the... Uh, I think it kind of takes away from my uh, view of the movie that knowing that it cost that much money to make... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad I could ruin it for you. You didn't ruin it. I'm just like I'm. I'm just not as impressed. Because I think you're right that the, the most of the money was just spent on that helicopter ride <laughs> to just see a bunch of bunch of guys, uh, with a, a bunch of regular Joes. But yeah, you know, uh, classic. I recommend everyone go out and watch it without our commentary, so you don't have to spend twenty minutes here and us do stupid voices. <laughs> um, but no, uh, I think that's worth it. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another public domain Halloween. We're not quite sure what we'll do next year, but join us back next Halloween for a, another video commentary of some kind of public domain horror movie. Bye-bye. Spooky.